Hey guys, it's Gaming Robo, and today I'm gonna to give you guys eight quick methods in increasing your Valorant FPS. So make sure you guys like this video if it helped you, or you could dislike and let me know what I could do better next time. And subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, let's just jump right into it. Method one, you want to open device manager and you want to scroll down till you see system devices. You open it up and scroll all the way down until you find high precision event timer. You want to go ahead and disable it and this should give you a boost in not only Valorant but many other games as well. Like me personally, I've got a big boost in uh, Warzone and this has helped me a lot. But if you do, if you happen to get any problems after you disabled it, just go ahead and ena enable it again. But for most people, it, especially myself, I've got a huge boost. Method 2, you want to go to the directory of Valorant and you can do that by just searching on Valorant, click open file location. Right click this, open file location, go back, Valorant live, right click Valorant.exe, you want to go to compatibility, you want to tick disable full screen optimization and after you've done that go to change high dpi settings, you want to override high dpi and you want to select application and press ok apply and ok method 3 you want is optimizing windows and gaming settings to boost variant fps you want to search game mode settings uh you want to make sure game mode is on the latest windows update has optimized this so there's no problem disable xbox game bar and after you've done these two, search up graphics settings, browse, you want to locate your Valorant, uh, which is in Riot Games, Valorant Live, and here you see Valorant.exe, and you want to add. After you've add, it should come up here, and you just want to. Uh, left click it go on options and make sure it's on high performance this will make sure when you're running the game uh windows will prioritize valorant and make sure it's running at the highest of performance and that should boost the fps and reduce stuttering method four is you want to download an application called timer resolution we'll have the link to download this in the description below so essentially you need to run this program every time you open up your Valorant. Before you open up your Valorant, you want to click on maximum. And what this does is it reduces, it fixes the input lag from your mouse keyboard to into your computer. So it would make the game feel more respons responsive in during gameplay. And once you're done with your Valorant session, you want to come back to this application, click on default, and you can go ahead and close the application. So, but you have to do it every time you open up your game, click on maximum, and once you're done, you click on default. And that's how you use timer resolution. Method five is when Valorant is open, you open up Test Manager, you right click Valorant, uh, here, click go to details, and your valorant win64 shipping.exe you want to set priority to high and this should reduce stuttering and boost your fps a bit for the next method is the power options this works mainly for laptop users but it can you can do it for pc as well you want to go to power options choose the current power uh, plan you're using change plan settings change advanced power settings you want to open up the power process power processor power management go to maximum and minimum 
and you want to change it for it'll be it'll be 100 by default but you want to change it to 99 this should help with heating as well reduce heating of your computer but if you're on laptop it should say plugged in so for me i'm using pc that's why the plugged in option is not there so they'll be bat on battery and unplugged in so you just want to change unplugged in because you're mainly you'll, you'll be gaming on plugged in so the plugged in for minimum and maximum change it to 99 and you should like when i was on my laptop i got a bit of fps increase so you should be getting as well if if you guys are having problems just go back to normal you're back to 100 but i'd recommend you going on 99 for for you guys the next method is if you have an nvidia graphics card uh you open up your nvidia control panel and for the uh, manage you, you go to manage 3d settings and you use these you can just pause the video anytime and copy all of these on for your global settings all right so after you've done that you go you click on desktop on the top you want to enable developer settings once you've enabled it you should see manage gp performance counters you click on it on default it's going to be on restrict access to the gp performance counters to admin users only uh, this is default one but you want to change it to allow uh, to allow access to the gp performance counters to all users so once you click on it it might increase your fps a little bit on balance yeah that's it for the nvidia control panel all right guys so the last method is the in-game settings of the game so these are my graphic settings i personally go on low resolution because i'm so used to counter strike but i play on low resolution it, it's much better for me personally uh my nvidia reflex is on so if you have a graphics card which is 1070 and above you click on on plus boost but if you have a 1070 and below uh, below 1070 you go for on the graphics quality i personally go everything on low i don't need high graphics another set another setting you should do is uh disabling corpses this helps with um increasing fps because the corpse is no more there when you uh when you kill someone it doesn't uh it, it keeps that fps nice and high uh if you want i think you could also disable blood that might also increase fps a bit but uh, you got i keep it on because uh i need that but yeah that's it for the for the in-game setting all right there you have it those were the quick methods in increasing your fps uh, let me know in the comments below if you've gotten an increase in fps let me know how much has they increased after you've done after you watch this video so yeah thank you guys for watching peace out